never thought I would be a scientist, let alone a wildlife biologist. I grew up in a family that went camping overnight by staying in hotels. So how did I go from that little girl to a wildlife biologist today? Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Shuttler. My channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. Today I'm gonna to talk about my journey from little girl who didn't know what she wanted to be to a full-blown wildlife biologist. Now when I was a little girl, I didn't even really know you could be a scientist. When I thought about scientists, I thought of the white men in lab coats and you know they're there with their test tubes, blowing things up. This is the stereotypical view that kids think of and even adults think of when we think of scientists. And that did not attract me at all. What did attract me was wildlife biology. I had always loved animals. I grew up in suburbia, but my parents and I, we would just flip over rocks in our, in our front yard and we'd look for insects and I would go to nearby ponds and we'd look for turtles and frogs and I would check, catch frogs and snakes. We would always release them though. But I loved animals and I loved looking at them up close. And the only scientist I knew of who studied animals was Jane Goodall. And for those of you who don't know, Jane Goodall is um, the first famous, not the first major female scientist, but the first famous female scientist. She's one of the most famous scientists in the world, and she studied chimpanzees. And she basically went to Tanzania in the forest almost all by herself and lived with these chimpanzees. And growing up in suburbia with all the comforts around me, I knew I didn't have it in me to be able to do that. And that's what I thought wildlife biologists did. That was the only thing I knew about wildlife biologists. I didn't even know this was a real career choice. I mean, how are you gonna make money going to the forest studying chimpanzees? It just did not seem practical at all. So, of course, my heart's desire was in something else that was totally wasn't practical either, and that is theater slash acting. When I went to college, I wanted to be a famous actress, and I dual majored in theater and biology at the time. Um, I just really liked the idea of acting, and I especially liked the idea of producing quality productions. I was so interested in the Oscar movies that come out every single year, and I love these really powerful films that would move you. The problem was I wasn't very good at acting. During high school, I wasn't even cast in some plays, and in the musicals, I was always just the background person. I never had a solo, and um, this was just very crushing to me because I wanted it so bad. I wanted to be in the spotlight. So I decided to pursue theater in college regardless, and I even went to New York City with my brother to take some acting classes, and I wanted to make it big. But um, being, I'm not really a big of a risk taker, so I knew I had to have a backup plan and my backup plan, plan was, you guessed it, biology. But not to become a wildlife biologist, this was so that I could become just a regular doctor, a physician for people. This just seemed like such a stable financial career, something that my parents could really be proud of me for. So I dual majored in theater and biology, and how did I end up changing into wildlife biology? Well, this is a trajectory that changed everything. My brother, who I really respected and looked up to, suggested that I should study abroad. And I didn't think that much about it. I just thought he's a really smart guy. He had really great things going for him. At that time, he was working for Jim Henson Productions and Sesame Street, and he lived in New York City, so he was just doing all these cool things. And it just seemed like such a good idea to study abroad. So at that time, the internet was around, but it's not how it was today. So I actually went to my university's study abroad office, and there were a bunch of pamphlets on all these different programs from all around the world. So what I did is I gathered the pamphlets that interested me, um, and of course those relate, were related to theater. So I had all these different um, programs in Greece, Italy, and all throughout Europe on theater. And then I had this one project, this one program that stuck out and this one was on Kenya. It was for the School for Field Studies and Wildlife Management and just the allure of the giraffes and the elephants on the front page, it just drew me in. I am a sucker for big animals. I love them. So I was on, in my bedroom and I was um, sitting on my bed and I remember I had all the pamphlets spread across my bed and I was deciding which one I should go to. And 
Going to Kenya just seemed like such a crazy idea, like going to Africa in general. I'm an American and Americans tend to be scared of Africa. We don't travel there that much. So this just seemed like a really difficult place to go to, whereas Europe seemed like it was really accessible. Like if I wanted to go to Europe, I could always go when I was older with my family. Um, it, it's something you know that people go to regularly for vacations. But Kenya, man, who goes to Kenya? I didn't know anyone who went to Kenya. So, you can guess what I decided to do. I, I took a risk and I went to Kenya. I didn't really need the college credits and it was just more of a fun growth adventure opportunity for me, so I did it. And ironically, Kenya changed my life and I learned that you could become a wildlife biologist in Kenya, but in other areas of the world. So I knew then I probably wasn't gonna live in Africa forever, even this day. Maybe when I'm older, I might move there and get a permanent job there. But I'm really close to my family, and you know, I said I grew up in suburbia, so I still wanted those comforts from home. And in Kenya, I learned that there are lots of jobs in wildlife biology all throughout the US, and even jobs where you can be in the US and then travel abroad to different African countries if you wish to still do your research in Africa, which is what I did. So that's how I made that transition. And and luckily, at that time, I already had a degree in biology, so um, or had a major in biology, so it was really easy for me to finish out my degree, and I finished with a bachelor's in biological sciences. From there, I did three internships that revolved around wildlife biology, and I went to graduate school to study African forest elephants. And today, I have my PhD, and I'm a full-blown wildlife biologist. My story does not end here, though. I I am still on new adventures and embarking on new chapters of my life and I hope to vlog about them. And if you have questions for me about some of my journeys or my internships, I'm really excited to make more videos. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and of course share it with a friend. Thank you everyone for watching.